Hey, welcome back to Steve Horvath Fishing. Let's talk about buzz baits. I'm getting some requests about buzz baits both on Facebook and on my channel, so let's talk about them. First question is, what buzz bait do you use? And to be honest, I don't really have a preference. I've got, let's see what we have here. This is a War Eagle. Hmm. We got Lunker Lure. We got, oh, look at this guy. This little bitty guy made myself. Bought the frame, put the blade on it. Another lunker lure. Another lunker lure. Don't remember the name of the company, but this is a headbanger type bait. So you see, I've got a lot of different ones. But there's a criteria that I'm looking for. Number one, the blade has to be the right size for the bait. Okay? This is a quarter ounce buzz bait. is a lunker lure in the three eighths, okay? Much bigger blade. A lot of times you'll see the too small a blade on a buzz bait, okay? Let's look at half ounce versus the quarter ounce. You need a nice big blade on the buzz bait. It has to be big enough, it aids with lift. Now, there's a few things I do with a buzz bait out of the package. Number one, you can see the normal buzz bait is straight out of the package. I don't do the S Bend deal, which is cool, okay? But I do bend the wire so the head is lower and more in the water than it would be. I think it aids in bites. The second thing I do is I take and I'll take a piece of sandpaper, a nail file or something like that, and I rough up the rivet where it meets the bait. Also, I crimp the rivet so the rivet doesn't move. Then I'll take and I'll rough up the blade so it's rough where the blade meets the rivet. Now they don't always start out squeaky. It may take a dozen casts or so, or hanging it out the window of your car while you drive around your neighborhood, okay? But eventually, they'll start to squeak. I don't know if you could hear that, but they start to squeak. The squeak is very important in a buzz bait. For me, it's hugely important. 99% of the time, I want my buzz bait to squeak. Now, you notice I have a headbanger buzz bait, okay? I prefer a headbanger buzz bait, so the bait, let's tune it up a little bit, so the blade hits the head, or a clacker style buzz bait when the water is dirty. And when I'm saying dirty, I'm saying less than two feet of visibility, and also if it's windy. That extra noise helps. So, we got a buzz bait, a big enough blade, and it squeaks. And you'll notice most of my buzz baits, a lot of them, have no skirts on them. That's because I prefer a plastic trailer. My favorite. Zoom Z-Crawl. 
I don't go with the toad. I find it, if I'm fishing for average size fish, and most of us are, that the toad will cost us some fish in the long run. Hey, bigger the fish, bigger the mouth, so they can get a toad in their mouth easier. It's all cool. If you're fishing around really big fish, maybe a toad's for you. It's just not for me. So, put this little Z Craw Jr. on a bait. That's my preferred buzzbait trailer. Number two is a Rage Menace. It's a little bit narrower. It's a little more finessey. And if fish aren't looking for such a big meal, the Menace is just right. But how do you pick the trailer? It's easy. Are fish coming up for the buzzbait? Should they be coming up for the buzzbait? One of the biggest mistakes I see people doing is either not changing the retrieve on a buzzbait or not changing the trailer. These two things can be key. Number one, the retrieve. You cast the buzzbait out, reel it, reel it, reel it, reel it, reel it. Cast it out, reel it, reel it, reel it, reel it. That will get you some bites. If you take the buzzbait out, cast it out, reel it, and every five or ten feet, just give it a little quick reel handle burst. A lot of times, that's when your bite comes. The other thing is, play with the speed of your retrieve. Sometimes fish want... I'm about to... <laughs> oh, did I just sneeze. Sometimes the fish want a buzzbait moving really fast. Sometimes they want it moving just barely on the surface. And a lot of times if they want it moving just barely on the surface, you can either go to a three-wing buzz bait or a lighter bait with a bigger blade on it. So keep that in mind. This is how I fish a buzz bait. I've been fishing a buzz bait like this for years. Can you catch fish other ways? I'm sure you can. But I'm convinced that if you use these tips I just gave you, you're going to catch more fish on a buzz bait. Hey, for Steve Horvath Fishing, I'm Steve.